Hello everyone, it is week 24 and this is our last week of this CSA season. Um, we have 24 total weeks, this is our last B week, and we still have quite a bit of produce that we're receiving. So we'll go over what we received in our shares this week, um, how to store each item, and lots of ideas on what to use them for. Two quick announcements, one I already mentioned, it's the last week of this CSA season. So last pickup today and on Thursday, if you're a Thursday pickup. Second announcement, if you have not renewed for next year, please do that. Um, the early bird registration has ended, so registration is now open. Um, it's still open, I mean, for um, current members but it's gonna open up to the public. So if you have not renewed, please make sure you do so. Um, there are only, I think Trisha said, there's only 75 full shares left at this point. So we're likely going to sell out. So if you wanna secure your spot for next season, make sure you do that. All right, we'll jump right in. We have kale. So kale gets stored in a plastic bag in the fridge. Um, if you have your Debbie Meyer green bags, it's awesome stored in there. This can be sauteed, it can be thrown in soups, it can be made into kale chips. You can um, remove the inner harder stems and um, do a kale salad, either leaving it like that or massaged kale salad, which just means you put a little um, oil and either lemon juice or vinegar and massage it in. So that's our kale stored in the fridge. We have salad greens. We want to store them in the plastic bag in the fridge. Do not wash them until you're ready to use them. If you do wash them, you definitely want to use them within ideally 24 hours. Um, they will start to go bad because of the moisture we put on them. Um, great for salads, great for sides. Um, you can simply, the greens are so delicious on their own, you don't need to add much to them. You can just dress them and serve them, up, serve them as a side. Um, they're really good for that. Okay, next up we have spinach. This is fresh spinach. So spinach can be served raw or cooked. I prefer it raw just because it's so yummy um, and full of flavor. If you're going to serve it raw, you want to clean it, chop it up. Um, you can serve it as a salad, um, lightly dress it. You can put it into pasta dishes, so do it at the very end to like wilt it. Um, it's really good just sauteed with onions and garlic as a side as well. So I feel like spinach I try to keep pretty simple. This gets stored in the fridge in a plastic bag. So I'll put it in a plastic bag and store it in the fridge. Those are the couple of items that you definitely want to use first. So our salad greens, the spinach, and our kale. Um, probably the spinach and the salad greens first. Kale will last a little bit longer. And then we have our other items that will last, um, a lot of the items will last weeks. Our two green items are bok choy. So bok choy is great in stir fries. Um, it's really good. Um, so I like to chop up the, the rib of the leaf, the, the stem of the leaf is thicker. So remove that, take the leaves off, chop those up, take the, the stem off, chop that up separately. They're gonna have different cooking times. Um, but I love to put it in a stir fry or just do a simple stir fry of the bok choy, onions, garlic, things like that. Um, this gets stored in a plastic bag in the fridge as well. This will last longer than our other greens, but definitely something you wanna use within a week or two. You can add bok choy to um, soups as well and stews. My favorite is the stir fries. Okay, we have leeks. Our leeks are um, like a milder onion flavor. So you can replace onions in any recipe with a leek. The bottom portion where it starts to get lighter, that's the part we ideally use. Um, chop them up, 
you can slice them in half. They tend to carry dirt with, because of the way they grow, they tend to have dirt in them. So if you slice them in half and really um, soak them in water for like 10, 15 minutes, really get the water in there and then rinse them off, it'll get most of the dirt out. Your top portions are really good. So the green portion here, they're really good to season broths. So I like to take them and separate them and throw them in my veggie broth um, freezer bags. I think this week I'm gonna do like an herb, onion, garlic, herb broth with the tops of the leeks as well. Just, um, and if I don't use it this week, I'll freeze it. So those are leeks. Um, they can be eaten raw. The, the inner portion of the leeks is a little more tender. They tend to be sauteed, used in soups, um, we have potatoes this week, so potato leek soup is really good. Um, or just like a vegetable soup and use this as an onion flavor. So those are our leeks stored in the fridge in a plastic bag. We have a bunch of radishes. So we have a watermelon radish, which is our light green on the top, and then um, the root is more of a pink. So that's the watermelon radish. Um, this will be featured in this week's recipe, so stay tuned for that on Thursday. We have the daikon radish, which is our longer white radish. And then we have um, the black, I think it's black Spanish. Yeah, black Spanish radish. So we got a variety of those this week. Radishes are stored in the crisper drawer of the fridge. Um, they will last a while. They can all be eaten raw or they can be cooked either. I like to slice them thin. Um, a couple of members talked about slicing them really thin, sprinkling some sea salt on it and just leave them like that, eating them like that as a snack. The um, watermelon radish, when we slice it open, it is beautiful in color. So it's really nice to add color to our salads. So you can thinly slice that and throw it on your salad greens. Um, they're also really good roasted. So scrub them down, um, chop them up. You can throw them on a sheet pan and do like a big roasted vegetable, root vegetable um, dish with onions, garlic, and we have a couple other root vegetables here as well. You can throw them into soups, so they work really well in soups. You can um, saute them on the, the stove top. So stored in the crisper drawer of the fridge, they will last a bit longer. Our potatoes, so we have a quart of Kennebec, I think, Kennebec potatoes. Those are really good overall all-purpose potatoes. So good for potato salads, french fries, um, hash browns, breakfast potatoes, um, mashed potatoes, just sliced, um, baked potatoes. So you could do a big potato bar with these. Those get stored in a cool dry place separate from onions. So we want to keep them in a separate location. So that's our potatoes. We also have onions. We got a couple of onions stored in a cool dry place. These will last. Um, obviously great for seasoning broths. Great to add to soups. Um, if you're going to do a potato um, potato soup, you could put onions in there. We can caramelize these onions. So there's a caramelized onion um, dip on the blog. You could do like a French onion soup, although that tends to be sweet onions, but you can also use regular onions. Um, pairs really well with our bok choy. You could do a sauteed um, spinach and onion dish. So that would work also. We have garlic. Our garlic gets stored in a cool, dry place as well. Um, I like to use garlic in just about everything. So um, garlic in salad dressings, on sheet pan meals, in um, pasta dishes, in broths, soups, stir fries. So that will last, but garlic in our house doesn't tend to last very long. Two more items, we have our butternut squash. Last week's recipe featured butternut squash. So it was a twice baked butternut squash, kind of a take on the sweet potato casserole. So you can try that. Um, this gets stored in a cool dry place, so it will last. 
but to use it, we wanna slice it in half, scoop out the seeds and roast it that way. Um, you can also scoop out the seeds, peel it and chop up into chunks and roast it on a sheet pan. Obviously the smaller the pieces, the less time it takes to roast. Um, the larger it is, it takes a good probably 45 minutes to an hour to roast. But if we chop, them, chop the pieces up smaller, it won't take as long. Once you roast it, you can serve that as a side um, or you can puree it and use the puree. So you can use the puree in baked goods. You can use um, butternut squash soup is amazing. So like a pureed soup, that's good. But that will last as long as it's stored in a cool, dry, dark place. Last but not least, we have our purple top turnips. Um, you can tell the difference because they literally have purple tops. So when we compare them to the watermelon radish, I mean like these two are kind of very similar shaped looking, the coloring is different. This is our purple top turnip, this is our watermelon radish. So purple top turnips um, tend to be cooked. They are really good if you um, scrub them down, chop them up and roast them. Um, and give them like a caramelized exterior. You can cook them and puree them to make like a turnip mash. You can add them to soups. And again, they would work really well in like a big sheet pan root vegetable meal, so, or side. Um, chop them up and cook them with all your different root vegetables. So that is it for this week. Um, thank you for joining me for 24 weeks of the CSA season. I will be back again next season doing the same live videos. Um, so hopefully they were helpful. We'll continue talking about um, what we received in the shares, same idea, storage, and what to use um, each item for. So thanks again for joining me for the entire CSA season. Hopefully you found these unboxing videos helpful. If you are struggling, the um, Facebook group will remain open. So please continue to post what you're doing with your produce, um, what you're using them for. Remember our focus right now is use what you have left from last week, especially if it's any of the greens and then um, work through this week's produce, especially focusing on the spinach and the salad greens and then the kale. So those are probably our top three items we wanna use um, within the next week. All right, thanks for joining me and I will see you all next season, but I will be on the Facebook group still. I just don't have the lives anymore. <laughs>